now marching against Monsanto in the rain in Santa Fe, New Mexico. We just protested outside Whole Foods. We were told to leave by the police and by Whole Foods manager. By security, security, I should say. We have about 200 people protesting here in Santa Fe against Monsanto. A smaller crowd than last year when we had 1,000 people. But people are still very motivated and mobilized here in Santa Fe. We've been working on the issue all year. We got a GMO labeling resolution passed in Santa Fe City Council unanimously about uh, last spring. We are still working to put that resolution, which is merely symbolic this time, into action through an ordinance at the city and county levels. Our progress has been blocked temporarily in the Santa Fe Food Policy Council, as well as Santa Fe County Commissioner Kathy Holian, who has exerted her own political influence on the Food Policy Council to block the GMO ban. There are GMO crops being grown in Santa Fe County at this time mostly in the southern part of the county. Most like the GMO Alpha, Alpha, but perhaps some other crops too, we don't know. Hard here in Santa Fe. It's great because we can drop. No GMOs! No GMOs! No GMOs! No GMOs! No GMOs! No GMOs! I'm not sure if folks are still going to want to go march over to the county in the rain. We might just stop here, I would presume.
they got to... I know, but they're playing around. It's if you want to help us in Española, there's a march against the GMO in Española and the, against the poplar tree farm. So please give me your name and email address. And there's a petition online. I don't remember the name of where you go for the petition. We're staying. We're the... Okay, guys, we got to go to the farmer's market. Uh, people are getting in here. They don't, New Tier doesn't publish anything. They won't publish it. If they were going to publish it, they'd be here. Clearing out of the farmer's market as the rain keeps pouring down. Rain is awesome. Come out over here under the awning. You can do it on Facebook. Maria, come out over under the awning. Go out under there. When is the so march? We don't know yet. We're just kind of getting organized and uh, we're trying to uh, show that GMO uh, OMG movie there in Espanola. That was a great movie. Did you see that? Do you want to talk about the issue on Poplar? About the issue the GMO of the, Poplar? The pop well, what we know is that this company. I don't remember the name, but. Ilicid? Yeah. That they have gotten permission from the Espanola City Council to plant genetically engineered poplar tree farms to produce rose oil for cosmetics and different products like that. And even they even mentioned in their in their brochure 
to use it to put into food as a, as a food flavor. It's on 80 and acres? It's on, I think it's 40 or 80 acres. It's called the Prince Ranch. And it's owned by the city of Española, which gave, gave permission that's already for this project. So we're trying to raise public consciousness about this to stop, you know, stop the project. The, um, those poplar trees spread through the roots, so the GMO uh, can't really be stopped. Once, I mean, even cutting the trees, the, you know, the roots are actually in the ground and can spread. You know, so, you know, trees are sacred, and we don't want genetically engineered products anywhere. I would like to draw a line in the middle of New Mexico. Anything north of I-40 is GMO free. And I think we can get the Pueblos to help us. We want to ask the Pueblos to establish a 30-mile zone, GMO zone, past their borders to stop the genetically engineered corn from ruining the sacred blue corn, which is the lifeblood of our people. If we don't have corn and we don't have our own real food to survive, we are done for. We need to unite. You have a petition in Rioriba County for a GMO-free GMO county. Is that correct? Well, um, actually, Rioriba County is already a GMO-free county, but they the, just passed that, right? Recently. Well, it was, I'm not sure when it passed, but. The, the, the law does not cover trees, so that, that needs to be updated, and some people are saying that even though, even though the property tree farm is in Rio uh, Riva County, the, the ordinance does, does not supersede what the Española City Council wants because mm -hmm. it's in their jurisdiction, which I don't see, that doesn't seem to make sense to me, but yeah. we're just kind of starting Here to Here in Santa Fe, we have the opposite but, situation where the Santa Fe City Council passed a GMO free resolution and a ban on GMO crops and supporting GMO labeling, and they were requesting support from the county for an ordinance that would have some... Uh, implement could be implemented, but the county has not supported so far, and they've been blocking uh, further progress in the Santa Fe Food Policy Council. So we were going to head over to the Santa Fe County Commissioner's headquarters here in downtown Santa Fe, but the rain prevented us from making that trip. Right. right. Well, it can be at another time, though. Yeah. We have a page so everyone can rally on. We can always set something up again. Yeah. Today yeah. is just a national thing. Right. You know? Right. Yeah, so Maria is a great person. And she's the one, you know, on those little flyers, her phone number is on the flyers. Uh, thank you. Anyone else want to say something to the world? Well, you know, in that film, it was really amazing because it showed how the people of Haiti burned the corn that Monsanto gave them after the earthquake. And, and it's really very moving to see this movie, um, GMO OMG, how those people pulled together and they just burned that corn. And they knew, they knew that that was a threat to their freedom. And those people know what freedom is, you know? It's really amazing, yeah. I was so inspired by, by the it's called GMO OMG. And it, it was so beautiful. Uh, well, they're not the only country that is given back a GMO crop, are they? No, no, I think it's banned right now in uh, Peru for at least 10 years. Of course, Vermont just passed a GMO labeling law. They're being attacked and sued by Monsanto. Uh, and I think Mexico, I think, is now, now has a GMO free zone. Well, I'm not sure about the details, but uh, anyway. Uh, and there are other countries as well. Trying to find out. Yeah, I need to get all the details. But, uh, Russia right now? Oh yeah, Russia. Russia, Russia is one of them, but, but actually, Russia. yeah, <laughs> that's the law against GMO. Russia. And of course, they keep saying Mexico did it, but mm -hmm. I'm afraid already. You know, just think how many years, um, maybe they were already putting GMO. They, they, NAFTA decimated Mexico's
corn because all the cheap GMO imports that came in after NAFTA uh, displaced farmers, local indigenous farmers from their farms. Yeah, a million and a half people were displaced from their farms because of NAFTA and the GMO imports. Undermine their price so they couldn't make a living anymore. Yeah, and they're coming here and trying to work and we can't even legalize And everybody says, right? oh! And you try to tell people why they came here, and everybody goes, what? Oh, we didn't know that. We didn't know it had anything to do with NAFTA. Yeah, NAFTA's pretty bad. And that TPP, now they've got they that, that, thing. that would keep oh. us, and any of the states, counties, towns, banning GMOs, because they'll be built into the treaty. It's like a, basically, it's a secret treaty. It's like the Rampart for Congress. Trans-Pacific Partnership. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> when does it end? <laughs> I heard that they had 2,000 people here last year. 1,000 here and 2,000 in Albuquerque. Oh, okay. Yeah. I filmed all that too. It was, you? yeah. It was I a, get your name, man. Like, I'll give it to you. Yeah. Get, gotta get your uh, information. OccupyNewMexico.org. OccupyNewMexico.org. Uh -huh. Well, bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. Wow, they had a thousand people in here last year. My camera yeah. has, is malfunctioning.